Hey y'all, um, so I'm back for another review. Um, I have several things that I've been wanting to talk to you all about and uh, review, um, but I just, um, I haven't been doing the weekly highlights thing lately, and um, I just, I don't know, I haven't been like prepared, I guess, to do like one of my weekly highlights. You know how long I go in those, and it's just a little overwhelming even for me, and I'm sure it, for you as a viewer, watching somebody ramble for 25 minutes about what they've, or even 30, about what they've been melting and burning. It's just a lot to take in. So I've decided, for now, I may go back to the weekly highlights thing at a later time, but I've decided for now to do shorter videos where I review a single item at a time. That way they're smaller, shorter for you and um, for me too. And then we can focus on what I'm actually talking about so um, it doesn't kind of get lost in a big huge long video of a, a ton of stuff I'm talking about so anyways hope that made sense um, but today I'm going to be reviewing Sensationals Chai Tea now <clears throat> I do believe this is one of the new fall scents for this year um, I was lucky enough to come across it at a, at a Walmart that I don't generally um, go to um, and actually I've been to a couple of Walmarts lately and the more other uh, more Walmarts I go to the more I realize that my normal store that I go to is just horrible when it comes to their candle selection and um, their restocking and just coming out with new stuff hardly ever they I like I went yesterday to my normal Walmart because it's just the closest one and um, I wasn't there for wax. I had to get some salad and stuff. But anyways, I always stopped by the candle aisle. And they had nothing new, like nothing new at all. So um, no new fall scents, no new candles at all. Their wax shelf looked pathetic. So um, really, I'm going to have to start going out of my way to get what I want. Because I went to a Walmart way out in the suburbs and... Um, they were starting to trickle in this was like two weeks ago starting to trickle in their um, new fall scents they didn't have all of them uh, but you could like see they were labeling where they were gonna put them and stuff uh, but they did have chai tea so I definitely grabbed it because I thought well I've never seen it anywhere else so better get it while I can because it probably won't be at my Walmart so um, I was really excited to find it chai tea is I've never drank chai tea I drink sweet tea iced tea but um, actually if it smells like this I want a cup right now because it's really really nice um, this is definitely different I have not melted or burned Yankees new vanilla chai um, but from cold sniff that one is a more rich foody um, interpretation of chai whereas this one is definitely um, it has the spice front and center and like the tea in the background which I don't even think I smelled any tea note at all in um, Yankees at least cold it does smell amazing by the way I'm gonna try it in tarts um, but uh, for somebody that wants like a truer chai tea or what I would think would be a truer chai tea this is gonna be the one you're gonna wanna go for um, it's definitely spicy of course um, but it's definitely got like a hint of tea in the background. I don't get any like really creamy or foody notes. It's really just the spice and the tea. So um, the throw on this is um, I would say medium. It's not the strongest Sensationals uh, cube that I ever tried, but um, it definitely feels a nice size room. And um, and I use two melts at a time, so. And I would say it lasted um, a good six or six to seven, maybe even eight hours. So uh, definitely not bad. Um, I can't wait for the new other new fall ones. I know a lot of people are getting them already, and I cannot wait. Um, but so far, this is the only one I've tried. But I wanted to talk about it. If you like chai tea or spice scents in general, definitely go check this out. Also, I don't know, like a few of you have um, always been interested in my animals, which, you know, I had Coco and then he passed away. And then I had Alex, which that was a nightmare, and we found him a nice new home. 
But um, so now I have a new dog, Baxter, and some of you may, uh, some of you that are friends with me on Facebook may have seen him on Facebook. Um, but uh, for those that haven't, I'm going to show you Baxter. Baxter, you got to make an appearance. Oh, he's very, very sweet. And I'm not sure what he all is. He's like mixed with stuff and people say Shih Tzu and um, Schnauzer. And, but um, I don't know for sure what all he's mixed with, but he's the sweetest dog. I mean, he is like the dream dog. Look, he just loves to be held and loved on, but he's just very, very sweet. He's laid back. Um, he's six years old, so he's not a pup, but he loves to be held like a baby. See, he just loves this. <laughs> I don't know why. But he's so sweet. I love him so much. And I just wanted him to say hi. And um, so that's Baxter. But anyways, I thought I'd show everybody because um, I've had several people ask about uh, my animals. Um, of course, I only have one at a time. But you know what I mean. So for the dog lovers, that's Baxter. And anyways, I'm going to cut this off now. And uh, have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye.